I pray for those who do not believe, do not adore, do not hope, and do not love you. Good morning. Welcome to St. Thomas, where our mission is a dynamic Catholic education centered in Christ. We are Kelsey and Kathleen, your eighth grade chapel leaders this morning. Please turn toward the crucifix and say the morning offering. My God, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world. I offer them for all the intentions of your Son's sacred heart, for the salvation of souls, reparation for sin, and the reunion of Christians. Amen. Please be seated. Hello, today is Friday, February 4th, and we celebrate St. Joseph of Leonissa. St. Joseph, pray for us. Today we remember in our prayers for the repose of the soul of Mr. Corcoran's grandfather, a special intention, Mrs. Burke's mom, for Mr. DeVesto, Mrs. Tiedemann's dad, and Mrs. Akrasik's sister-in-law, Carol. The virtue we are focusing on is perseverance. Oh boy, Mr. Baxter's got visuals today. You're in trouble. So this is my girl. This is St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, the first Catholic saint in the United States. One of the founders of the Catholic Church, one of the founders of the Catholic School. So let me tell you a little bit about perseverance with St. Elizabeth Ann Seton today and how I draw strength from her. So uh, Elizabeth Ann Seton, uh, mom dies when she's 19. She perseveres, keeps going, gets married, has three children. Her husband dies when, she, when he's 29. So imagine being 29 and having three kids. She perseveres. She becomes a nun and she starts to educate children. And she spends her whole life educating children and bringing them closer to God. You see, she could have given up, but she didn't just give up. She didn't even give in. She didn't give up. She didn't give in. She just kept persevering. She did what God asked her to do. And God called her in that dark time of her life to do something great. And she did. We then get to benefit from her perseverance, her strength, right? Educating others. I know for a fact that there are days where I sit and I have this conversation with her because her picture stands, sits by my desk all day. And I'm like, are you sure this is really what you want? Because let me just tell you what just happened, right? I, I teach middle school. Let me tell you about what life's like in middle school some days. And yet, because of her, I persevere. Mrs. Edgerton said something yesterday, and normally I always agree with what Mrs. Edgerton says. But she said something yesterday about, it's too bad we don't get to celebrate Catholic schools, but just once a week. And I disagree with Mrs. Edgerton. We celebrate our Catholic schools every single day. We celebrate being Catholic. We celebrate our school. We celebrate what we do every day. And we don't always have big, grandiose celebrations about it. But we wear our faith. We're byproducts of our faith. We celebrate who we are every day in class. You should be grateful. I should be grateful that I'm here. We are all should be grateful for this opportunity. I think about this, then I'll be quick because Mrs. Codier is waiting. We have persevered for the last two years, this Catholic school. It's been a, a very, very interesting two years. But look around, we're still here. We're still standing. We're still doing our job. We're doing it better than ever. And that is the legacy that St. Elizabeth Ann Seton left to us. That's perseverance. And really right now, 
all I have to say is, what do I have to say? Guys back in the classrooms, help me out. Help me what I have to say here. Oh, they're telling me that I have to say, happy Friday. <laughs> and now, because you'd rather hear from Mrs. Codier than me. Good morning. The Red Glasses Award is given in honor of Audrey Liu, who passed away in 2018. Audrey lived boldly and she loved big. I always remember seeing Audrey walking down the hallway with Mrs. Shoemaker holding her hand and just skipping and smiling as big as she could. The goal for all of us is to see the world through Audrey's eyes. With that, we do have the recipients of the Red Glasses Award. Our first recipient is Molly Sneller. Molly has become a wonderful leader in our school and classroom. She willingly helps others in class and does so with a smile. She is kind and generous. She demonstrates several Catholic virtues daily. She is reverent and has Jesus in her heart. Molly, actually, is Molly virtual? Yeah, right oh, Molly, come on down. <laughs> Our next recipient is Isaac Merkel. Isaac <laughs> is a perfect example of someone who loves big and lives boldly. He is always ready to help anyone in need and sees kids who need help even before they ask. He includes everyone and makes sure everyone's voice is heard. Isaac always has a smile on his face and gives 100% to everything he does. <laughs> Our next recipient is Charlie Kimball. Charlie lives boldly, loves big, and passes it on every day. She is a person of integrity, honesty, and love. This happens in class, in the hallways, and at recess. One aspect that stands out about Charlie is that she is accepting of all people, regardless of ability or personality. On a daily basis, without being prompted, she reaches out to other students in my classroom who are struggling. She helps them and encourages them to join in conversations and learning activities. She tries to make all students feel welcome and like they all can succeed. For example, she offers to help others to make sure they have the appropriate materials for class. Her character, her willingness to love and accept everyone, and her ability to step outside of a middle school's comfort zone to accept everyone is why she is the middle school award recipient. Alrighty. And our last recipient is Mrs. Fisher. <laughs> Every day, Mrs. Fisher gives her best to everyone. She's always there when needed and willing to help with a smile. She's kind and caring and respectful of whoever stands before her desk. She can hug away tears, bandage up owies and dial the phone while holding a trash can in front of a vomiting child. <laughs> she listens as a teacher asks complaints, vents, or even weeps. She is non-judgmental and treats everyone with the respect and kindness that they should have. She's a perfect example of living boldly, loving big, and passing on the message that we all matter, every single one of us. Mrs. Fisher is always positive, happy, and smiling in the office. She takes time to listen to each student and each staff member and help them in any way that she can. 
you would never know if she's having a bad day or if that we have interrupted her for about the hundredth or millionth time. <laughs> she has to work through many lunches this year with staff shortages. She is a true blessing to St. Thomas School by her big love and passing it on to everyone that she comes in contact with. She lives boldly through her love for her family and the joy that she has in photography and sharing her gift with all of us. Today we would like to extend a warm welcome to the following. Mrs. Bueller and Mrs. Shoemaker's classroom. Happy birthday today to Margaret Kepke and Katherine Wagner. <laughs> Happy birthday this weekend to Eli Hajar, Samantha Jananoa, and Mockbell Ella Mayhew. <laughs> we have the following announcements. Today's hot lunch is grilled cheese and tomato soup. <laughs> Please stand and put your right hand over your heart and pledge the flag with me. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please kneel. Jesus, I choose to begin this day with you. I want to set my course now before the day begins. I want to get through this day by walk with me and let's do it together. Take a moment of silence to dedicate your day to God and treasure our dynamic Catholic education center in Christ. 